best After Effects tutorial intro ever. Look at this. This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. <laughs> he just says F you. <laughs> I like how he put that in a in an After Effects tutorial. That's the most passive aggressive f ever. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. And I love that f energy. Uh, like, uh, subscribe, instant like, subscribe, and favorite. Yeah, why not? F it, let's go. <laughs> What do I do? Um, right, so today's video is going to be all about lines and in the invariable world of After Effects and motion design, inevitably you're going to be asked to do an animated line uh, by some clients. So yeah, today I'm going to show you guys how I do an animate lines in After Effects. Um, right, so the most obvious way uh, everyone's creating a line in After Effects is via a shape layer. So you're gonna create, use the pen tool up here and then uh, select this layer and draw out a line like so. And you can uh, adjust the uh, stroke color and stroke size up here. We're gonna start out with white, drag the uh, values up. I like it here and yeah the way to make this line sort of draws out which uh, is one of the most popular sort of animation go over here to the contents menu drop down the shape menu and while on the shape menu you can click on add and trim path and then you're gonna drag the end start and end point basically refers to where you want the line to start and end uh, in relation to the, to the path that you just created so 100% refers to the entirety of the line. So when you drag the end over here down from 100%, the line is gonna uh, retract from the end point to the starting point, which is uh, at 0% here. To draw the line, simply just uh, keyframe the end and the beginning point, then drag it up there. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a pretty good uh, drawing out animation of the line. Um, even if you, you know, you know, put more uh, points on the line or more permutations to the line, it's always gonna end up there. And then if you animate the start point, uh, the start is gonna retract the line from the starting point of the uh, of the line, uh, beginning from the starting point. There we go. And so over here, as you can see, as soon as, soon as the line has already finished, I uh, can uh, keyframe the start point, drag the starting of the uh, line over here to the end, uh, which is uh, again 100%, and then you can uh, replay it back. Uh, the line is going to appear and then disappear again. That's a very quick way and neat way in, of uh, creating a, a line that uh, appears out. It's like one of those cartoons, you know, the line that appears out and uh, disappear uh, as an expression or something like that. And down here you can see the offset setting over here, okay? And now this is where it's starting to get interesting. I'm going to disable the two keyframes for these ones. And I'm gonna try and make my lines a little bit more curvy. Hang on, like so, so that the uh, it looks good. People tend to like curvy things more than uh, lines. That came out bad. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, let's go. All right, now I'm gonna put the stroke cap to round caps. I'm gonna drag the end down. Not entirely, but maybe 30%, okay? Then when I offset that, it's gonna offset the starting and end point of the line. Now, and it's gonna run on infinitely towards each side of the lines. And the good thing about this offset setting is that we can also put an expression on it. Usually I like to go with uh, time, so 200. So that is very good. Okay, so now what I'm, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this shape over here, call it shape two, and then on the trim path uh, settings, I'm gonna adjust the uh, trimming of the path a little bit, change the color of it. Uh, you know, how about maybe we'll make it shorter or something? Maybe just a dot like so, yeah. Uh, so it looks like a dot, and then it's gonna move around. Uh, along with the uh, along with the line, ooh, with the uh, with the animation, you know, it reminds me a lot of uh, tech animation or stuff like that. Copy uh, this shape again. Path, gonna trim it all the way 
in here so that it's a little bit more separated uh, from the rest of the animation. I'm gonna change the offset speed of the thing here a little bit. I'm gonna change it to 90. See how now it's, it's gonna move slower. Uh, so I spent the next few minutes duplicating and offsetting and changing the color of the strokes uh, and then I end up with this and also I can even make sure you're on this shape and then increase the size of the stroke and now you have a dot that's moving along the line very neat and yeah if you don't like the stroke over here being way too big compared to the rest of the strokes you can always just click on the beginning shape layer the original shape layer drag the whole thing up and down and then it's gonna be uh, you know it's gonna be uniform again if you don't remember the original size of the stroke that you have nice so all right move on to the next question yeah um, you know if uh, for some reason maybe if you want to change the shape of the path for example or if you want to make uh, everything move in a different direction in order to have to do that uh, you have to separately change the uh, uh, shape and size of all the different strokes like this so that it follows in the same path and you know unless you're a computer uh, you're gonna rarely be able to get to exactly where uh, exactly where the previous line is and you're gonna have to do this to all six of the lines that we just created and that's gonna be exhausting uh, ooh, look at that I, I kind of like the design of this including you know including the outline that, that after effects already had I'm getting distracted okay yeah so what what you're gonna end up is having something that looks like this well, which is cool but not something that we want so you know control Z how we're gonna tackle this okay this one is actually pretty fun how about we take uh, shape number five and shape number one not as, a, as an example okay so in shape number five you have the property to uh, select the mass and adjust the mass uh, adjust the path sorry and then when you drop that path option down and as you can see next to the uh, property of the path uh, in shape number five we got a pick whip over here i'm gonna pick whip that to the path number one which is the original path that we had boom and hide all of this when you try to take path number five you're not gonna be able to move it anymore and, and instead you, you're only gonna be able to move path number one and when you move path number one the path number five is gonna be move as well accordingly to the uh, changes that you made in path number one see so you know uh, this number one over here remember this is number one over here and now as you can see is moving number five is also moving accordingly to the path in number one but yeah and you can also do and you can also pick whip this to path that you have already created so for example if i enable shape number two as you can still see the uh, path is still the old path that we had now if we try to pick whip that path uh, to the original uh, path number one see ooh, boom yeah it's gonna snap uh, right into that uh, and if you're wondering what just happened then over here the pick whip just uh, created this expression underneath um, path number two to uh, link it with path number one so obviously the old shape the old path that you had before you pick whip it is still gonna exist uh, if you you know if you just delete the expression over here you're gonna revert back to the old path that you had so it's very neat uh, nothing is actually deleted it's just uh, following uh, the order of the uh, expression yeah so I'm gonna do that with the rest of the of the shapes parenting that to the path of shape number one the only thing that's gonna appear is path number one for you and you can't take control of the rest of the path anymore because the only thing you're gonna be able to control is path number one so i'm gonna try that over here like so and now you got you know you have uh you have full control of the entire spectrum Ooh. That's pretty much it about uh, lines and After Effects. Uh, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be part one. I kind of want to talk more about the features of these uh, uh, nodes, create nodes from path um, script over here to create some uh, interesting animation in After Effects. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna talk more about them, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.
See you. No. Thank mm-hmm. you.